So I'm Chris Mieser, I'm the, the winding assistant manager for Outen International. So we had an inquiry from a company that has a wind turbine as part of a community. The wind turbine had failed in service and wasn't producing power anymore. They'd taken it out of service and sent it to us for inspection. On closer inspection when we received it, the turbine stator had a, an earth bolt that had a blast on the stator. The stator had been repaired in the past, so it was decided that no further repairs could be made to the stator and that a full rewind was required. So we went through a bit more rigorous testing. We found that there was actually also faults on the rotor bricks. We had some discussions with the customer and it was decided that a full stator and a full rotor rewind would be performed and that we would work with the customer to try and improve the insulation systems, make it a, a better product for when, when we deliver it back to the customer. When discussing with our team, we've decided to operate the machine's insulation properties. So we've gone for a class three enamel copper, which is a much higher grade. It's actually got a breakdown voltage of about 15,000 volts and this machine runs at around 480 volts. Yeah, very high dielectric strength. On the slot liners we've fitted Captain Nomex and 0.5 Nomex which has given it a really good dielectric strength plus a mechanical strength. We do have quite a lot of products that are copyrighted to us that we've used within this project. We've developed our own system for rewinding the DC pole shoes of the rotor. That's been developed on the high speed train product which we've done hundreds of, and they're all out in service still. And then we've ran them through a VPI process in-house using an epoxy varnish. This just gives it a really, really strong finish. Um, it makes sure that the varnish is deep throughout the coil, and um, it also weatherproofs the coils very well. It's a proven system, it's tried and tested. It's running on trains, so it is seeing weather a lot. It's seeing a lot of moisture and temperature changes, and um, it's proven to be a very strong system. This Enercon generator that we've had in the state uh, has over 50 miles of copper and there's a lot of conductors in parallel. So we've had to order the copper in, we've had to split it in continuous drums of over 300 kilos per drum. And then we've had to wind the stator continuously with no brakes. So we've had to develop a system that would allow us to do that. So in-house, again, using our own expertise in our R&D department, our manufacturing, we've had to actually make our own um, jigs and our own um, manipulator to be able to do that. We have a testing capability of up to 40 kV, so we've tested this machine rigorously at the end of its uh, rewind process. The rotor coils we've tested at 10 times operating voltage. The state we've tested twice line voltage plus 1,000. So performing this kind of testing in-house means that the customer has peace of mind that it's definitely going to run at operating voltage. We've proven that it can take way above operating voltage. So it just gives the customer that peace of mind that it's going to run for a long time, that we've given them a quality product. As the world continues to electrify, the demand for the services we can provide is only going to grow, and we're excited to be a part of that.